So let's have a little chat, shall we? Let's have a little occult chat. This is your host, The Occult View. And I'm up on the early morning. Couldn't sleep. Just wanted to have a little little chat, you know. As usual, I was doing some deep, deep inner thinking. And I was thinking about something. Looking at the world, as I always do, the, the 3D world. I've come to a conclusion about a lot of people. Not all people, of course, but a lot of people. I think a lot of people would rather live Maybe that's not the right word. I don't want to say that. I'm going to say this. I choose not to live in torment and suffering. I choose not to live in misery, unhappiness. I choose not to live in the pain of the past. You, you, you understand what I'm saying when I say that? Because I'm looking at everything that's happening over in the Middle East, for example, with Israel and Palestine. And it's really, really <clears throat> unfortunate that this is happening. But it makes you wonder, why is our attention being diverted to the Middle East once again? It reminds me of the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. The pain of the past is destroying the hope of the future. People, a lot of people, maybe not all, but a lot of people are afraid to step into their own future. I'm not talking about a future that was orchestrated or designed for you by someone else. I'm talking about your own 5D future. on your own terms as much as possible. Because when I look at the 3D, the 3D world that we live in, I look at all of the greed, I look at all of the senseless loss of life, I look at all of the evil that is permitted. I look at the violations of innocence. I look at all of these things. And I'm convinced more now than ever that the 3D world is dying.
the world that everyone wants to be a part of is dying out. It is going into decay. That is why it is going into a state of complete havoc, wars, genocide, gentrification, insanity. People who are in positions of power are going mad because they're trying to stop the evolution of consciousness. They're trying to stop the frequency from rising because a lot of those types, and I'm going to keep it like that, because, you know, sometimes you have to talk in code. A lot of those types of people, they are not able to raise their vibration into the fifth dimension. So they have to suck other people's energy in order to piggyback off of them to get there. So that is why I said in the beginning of the video, I choose peace. I choose love. I choose understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. I choose not to suffer. I choose not to be tormented. And I choose not to be stuck in the trauma of the past. The pain of the past. I choose not to be stuck in that. It doesn't mean that you can't work through it just because you're working through it because a lot of people are working through, let's just say their so-called karma and their trauma. Let's just say it, just say that in layman's terms. A lot of people are working through that right now so they can elevate to the fifth dimension whether they recognize it on a conscious level or not. What is the fifth dimension? What is 5D? It is anything that you want it to be. Because see, when you're dealing with the spirit, it's not technical. It's not a scientific project. It is simply spiritual. And it cannot be explained under a microscope. People have tried to explain it using, you know, uh, mathematical equations. I'm talking about the spirit, not the dimension. <laughs> but there is a separation that's happening. So if you feel yourself not interested in the things that you used to be interested in, in the 3D world, if you feel yourself disconnecting from certain things, certain people, Nine times out of 10, you're going through an ascension into the fifth dimension or the or rather a fifth dimensional way of thinking, which is a frequency of peace, self-reflection, self-love, self-responsibility, self-accountability. See, we can't expect others to take accountability for anything. And I've learned that. I've learned that. The family members that have hurt me and done things to me, I've learned I can't expect accountability for them. Because expecting accountability, accountability for them will keep you stuck in the same dimension that they are stuck in. And that is that 3D world of suffering, of sadness, depression, wars, racism, greed, murder. And I know a lot of people who don't, who are not spiritual, they're not going to get this. They're going to say we're crazy. They're going to say you're crazy. They're going to say I'm crazy. Hey, I'm fine with being that. But at least I'm thinking outside of the box. If you choose to stay stuck in the 3D world, then that is your choice. 
if you choose suffering over non-suffering, that is your choice. That is simply your choice. And I don't say that to be mean or to be cruel because sometimes circumstances in life will happen. We get that. And we're not talking about no Star Trek or any type of Hollywood result or Hollywood type of, you know, um, transformation. No, we're talking about real transformation, real spiritual transformation, real consciousness transformation. So you can experience the true peace and the true happiness that so many people desire, that we all desire, the peace, the happiness, the joy, the nirvana. You know, I was listening to someone say that, and it makes a lot of sense, that the way to end suffering is to become basically disconnected from the human identity that we've been assigned. And that makes a lot of sense because these human identities that we've been assigned, a lot of times these identities carry a lot of bad, what people would call bad juju, bad karma. But what's happening is now a lot of us are working out our karmic debt with ourselves because we're answering to ourselves. We're making amends for what we've done to self. So people are always talk, people here lately <clears throat> have been talking about, see, let me, let me just say this. People keep thinking that people are being, let's just say, unalived because of what happened three years ago with the, you know, you should know what I'm talking about. You can't really talk about that. But in actuality, what's really happening and what's really being covered up and what's really being used as, I see it now, what's really being used as distractions are all of these different world uh, events that are taking place. And it's been going on for three years. And when I say three years, that's code for something. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but here lately, we're dealing with another world crisis over in the Middle East. And all of these things are distractions from what is really important, which is elevating to a higher dimension, elevating to the fifth dimension, elevating to 5D. That is really what we are being distracted from. And nothing that, if you, how can I put this? Nothing that takes place, if you are really focused on elevating to a higher dimension, Nothing that they, he, she, it can do can prevent that. You have to shift your focus from the illusions of the 3D world and you shift your focus back into self. And when you say that, sometimes people people get it, they get they get a, a, they have a problem with that. Because they feel as though that it's selfish. And you know what? You can be selfish. You can be selfish. This is, a, this is about your spiritual evolution and your spiritual survival. You have every right to shift your consciousness to a higher frequency. You have every right to do that. And... What it takes to do that 
is embracing all of those darker things that you are afraid of. And whatever comes up in that experience, you embrace it, you understand it, and you develop wisdom. And that's what I've done. See, and I'm not a religious person, but you know, sometimes you have to really tap into, you know, what, because you, you'll get what I'm saying. When they were talking about Jesus went into hell, they were not talking about a place out there. They was they were talking about him going within himself, facing his own demons that were coming up, that were, you know, being manifested within him. So when Jesus went into hell to battle demons, he was battling his own demons. And then he became the Christ. See, right now we're in the fallen stage. We have fallen from grace. And now we're trying to get our grace and our wings back. And I'm not talking about in the religious sense. I'm talking about in the spiritual sense. There's a difference. I'm not talking about following someone and worshiping someone. I'm talking about following your spirit. Because remember, the kingdom is within you. All of those biblical allegories, they are nothing, but they are doing nothing, excuse me, but describing what is taking place inside of you. Heaven, hell, salvation, redemption, responsibility. All of those things. Your fears, your nightmares, your dreams, all of those things are inside of you. And you have to face all of those things the best of your ability, the best way you can. And it's not easy. It's not easy. I, I am a testament of that. It is not easy. Spiritual work and spiritual growth and ascension is not easy. So going back to what I was saying earlier, let me be a bit more clear. What we're seeing now erupting in the Middle East and around the world is nothing more than another distraction. Not saying that it's not real. Not saying that. Just like what happened three years ago when everything was, you know, shut down because of all distractions. Not saying that it wasn't real. But there was an opportunity to use that as a distraction to keep people from elevating to the fifth dimension. Now, remember, I, I did a video a few weeks ago, I believe, where I talked about 2012 and what 2012 really signified. 2012 was really talking about the beginning of the, the great ascension to the fifth dimension and the separation of the spiritual beings from the carnal beings from the third from the third dimensional world and the 3d world is decaying it is dying out that is why we don't have a lot of creativity anymore in hollywood that is why we don't have a lot of good creativity. We have some, but not a lot of good creativity in the music industry anymore. That is why it seems like everything is dull, insipid, and banal. Because people are getting tired 
of the same cycle. And we're trying to get out of this cycle of pain, suffering, control, being under control, being under control by illusionary institutions and systems, including family. Because truthfully, my definition of family really has nothing to do with blood. Because I feel closer to people who are non-blood related than I do with people who are blood related. I'm just being honest. And it has nothing to do with creating a group or creating a, a, a movement. Now, I'm not against people that do that. You know, I'm not against people that do that. You do your own thing. But ultimately, ultimately, some of us are here to be on our own spiritual journey. And again, it's nothing wrong with being in a group. I don't have no problem with that. That that's on that person. People have their own, people can do what they want to do as long as they're not trying to infringe on the rights of others to expand their consciousness and to be in their own spiritual journey without someone else trying to interrupt you. See, a lot of people tried to interrupt me on my spiritual journey. And what happens is they try to pull you back into the 3D world of havoc, obligations, illusionary obligations, sickness, disease, and not just physical diseases. So all of these distractions that we're seeing are nothing but distractions to keep you from elevating to a higher state of consciousness. So we keep thinking that people that are expiring now, we keep thinking that it's because of, oh, it's because of what's in the food or it's because of this or that. No medical advice, not giving any medical advice, but I'm just going to say this is what I believe. I believe that a lot of people are expiring because their frequency no longer matches the planet frequency. And they are not able to shift into the newer frequency of the five of the fifth dimension. And it doesn't matter what their diet is. It doesn't matter if they're a vegan or not. And I don't give a fuck who that offends. I really don't. Fuck you and your feelings and your fucking opinions. Being a vegan is not going to get you into the fifth dimension. Not saying that you will be barred from it because you, you, you are one. But it's not about being a vegan. It's about your frequency. It's about the wisdom and the knowledge that you have obtained in the 3D world. It's about what you have worked through in your trauma and your pain. It's about you tapping into your shadow self and doing a lot of shadow work. What have you done? Eating a, 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 a cup full of grass ain't going to mean a motherfucking thing, child. Excuse my language, but I'm just being honest. You can do all of that and still be stuck in the third dimension. That's the illusion too. Oh, if you do this, if you do that, no. Those people are stuck in their perfect 3D hell. Now, I'm not advocating for anyone to be unhealthy. You do what you want to do, but you don't make something that's physical. You don't make that the rocket 
that gets you to the next level because that is not the fuel that you need. The spirit does not need vegetables or meat. The spirit doesn't need any food or water. Only the body does. And a lot of these people, they may feed their body healthy things, but they're not feeding their spirit. And the sustenance that your spirit needs doesn't come from a physical source. And that's all I'm going to say on that. And it makes you wonder how can I put this? It makes you wonder about a lot of the planets that they keep talking about. The main the main two planets, I'm going to say Venus and Mars. I'm going to leave Mercury out of it. Maybe Mercury, I don't know. <clears throat> but I want to talk about Venus and Mars. Excuse me, because there's a lot of indication that those two planets at one time were more like Earth or were more hospitable to life. Um, Venus in particular, you know, a lot of people, they're saying now that Venus was a tropical planet, had a tropical environment. And that makes perfect sense since it's, it's it, they, they call it Earth's twin. But I think like with Earth, these planets transcended into higher states of consciousness. So they're not able to be accessed on the, in the physical realm anymore. So whatever life forms that were there, they are no longer there in the physical. They've transcended to higher dimensions. Maybe the fifth, maybe higher. I don't know. But I know one time I had a dream. And in this dream, there were these beautiful dark skinned black women. I mean, they were absolutely exquisitely beautiful. And the sky was pink. And I asked them, I forgot the name of the planet they told me, the world that it is, that I was in. It was a world, but I believe that that was the transcendent. Now that I really think about it, that was the transcendent, ascended, or rather not the trans, but the ascended, not the transcendent, but the ascended higher state of Venus. Because remember, they say Venus is for women, and I believe they said Mars is for men or something like that. There was nothing but women that ran this planet. And it was filled with so much love and joy. They were all darker skinned women and the sky was pink. And if I'm not mistaken, they say that Venus has a, a weird pinkish type of sky. I don't know. I may be wrong. But now that I look back on that dream, I was I was in the higher transcendent. I'm going to say transcendent. Yeah, that sounds right the transcendent state of Venus, of what it is now and where it has transcended to. So when they try to access it physically and they're trying to terraform, I believe that's the right word, terraform Venus and Mars, basically trying to pet cemetery it. And I've talked about this before. They're trying to pet cemetery Venus and Mars, but they will never restore it to its natural state. It will only be by artif artificial means that they would bring those planets back to its artificial, to its original state. It will not be in its original state. It will mimic an original state. 
But I believe that I went to this planet or this plane of existence, and I believe that that was the ascended Venus. Now that I look back on it, that was the ascended Venus. And it was pure love. It was pure love. And, and these women kept telling me, when I asked them about the earth, they said that there's nothing there. I said, what? They said that there's nothing there. The planet that you're, they said there's nothing here. So what does that mean? I don't know. And those are not the only entities that have told me that. I've had demons tell me the same thing. Don't oh, I know just demons? Yeah, demons. Don't worry, they didn't look, you know, they weren't growling and had long teeth. It was nothing like that. They looked human. Demons give you information. Demons are light. Some of them. But they give out information. That's why the Christian church and, and the institutions of this world tells they tell people to be afraid of them. I'm not saying that you should go off and do something to con. No, I'm not saying that. See, these things come to me because we're all made up of these things inside of us in our DNA, especially as melanated people. That is why they do so much to try to keep us blinded about who we are. But that world was beautiful. I didn't want to leave it. It was beautiful. It was absolutely exquisite. And you know what they told me in that world? They said, we eat meat. <laughs> But we eat meat. Like, wow, y'all eat meat? I can still see that pink sky. But we're living in a time <clears throat> where there is a lot of distractions that is, that, that is preventing a lot of people from raising their vibration to the fifth dimension. And like I said, a lot of these planets, well, Mars and Venus in particular, they have transcended to higher states of consciousness. That is why they're no longer physically accessible. They've gone through their cycle. And eventually, Earth will go through its cycle. And those left in the 3D world, those people that are left in the world, they're going to perish with it because the 3D simulation is breaking down. Doesn't matter how much money you have. And I'm not saying money is bad or anything like that, but it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how big your house is. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. They're not, they're not talking about it, but a lot of rich people are turning away from their riches and they're trying to become more spiritual. That is why they're trying to buy up different lands and farmlands. And that is why they're trying to push people out of certain places, especially in the Middle East, especially in Hawaii because there are certain spiritual vortexes in those places. There are certain spiritual nexus points in Hawaii, in the Middle East, and even, even here where I met in the DC area. Even where I met in the DC area. There's a certain protective vortex, or there's a nexus point here, a spiritual nexus point that makes it a bit more, I want to say easier, 
like it's almost like a portal to elevate their different portals that can elevate or get you into other dimensions. Remember in that movie, The Dark Tower with Idris Elba, I believe that was the name of it, The Dark Tower. Remember how they were kidnapping children in New York because some kind of way children were able to open up portal portals into other dimensions. That is what that whole thing with, what was it, what, uh, the Pizzagate thing? That's what that was all about. They are trying to, they're, they're using unjustly because they're so lazy and they're, they don't have any spirit. So they're trying to use innocence by using children to open up these portals for them. That is what a lot of these wicked people are doing. People, humans. And then they'll come and say, oh, it's a demon. Oh, it's a no, it's people. It is people. Not saying that it can't be motivated by some things that are, you know, non, you know, um, human sometimes. I'm not saying that. But they are trying to get into the fifth dimension and they're not able to do it. So they have to piggyback off of certain people or children because children are innocent and children are very powerful beings. If you look at the show Stranger Things, you you will understand what I'm saying. In that town in Hawkins, L and those other children were being experimented on because they could open up portals into the upside down. I believe that's what they call that realm. And suffice it to say, I believe this is the last season of um, Stranger Things. I don't have Netflix anymore, so I probably won't be able to see it, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to say on the early morning that I choose, <clears throat> I choose to eliminate suffering wars, racism. I choose to eliminate that. Hatred, evil. I choose to eliminate those things from my reality as much as possible. I choose love. I choose understanding. I choose compassion, not forgiveness, but compassion. I choose happiness. I choose joy. I choose nirvana. I choose nirvana. I think that can sum it up. Nirvana, I choose that. And I choose not to walk in the cycle of pe the pain of the past, the trauma of the past. And I'm willing to do the work to work through that trauma, to work through that pain. I'm willing to do the work. I will face whatever demon I have to. Are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to face your demons? That's the question. Because once you face them, you'll realize they're not that scary after all. And all they've been trying to do is get your attention. Once you take off the blinders of the illusionary third dimension. And you can see with the clarity of the fifth dimension. 
which is there's nothing to fear but fear itself. This is the occult view. Thank you for listening and welcome to the fifth dimension and welcome to the spiritual evolution of earth and of man and womankind. Are you going to perish or are you going to elevate? The choice is, it, it, it's, it's literally your choice. It's literally your choice. Nobody can make it for you. And before I go, I refuse to allow the old thinking and the old ways of the 3D world the misinformation, the fear, the cult mentality, the fear mongering. I said that, but I wanted to say fear mongering too, because there's a difference between feeling fear and people who stroke the fear mongering button. All of those things, all of those things, do you choose that? Or do you choose to elevate? Do you choose hating someone more than just having compassion for yourself to move on from that? And let that person, let them remain in the decay of the 3D world. Now I understand why I had a dream. <clears throat> Last year, maybe year before, I was in a place where it looked like it was like a desert. It was earth. It was a desert, like a desert. You saw the, you saw destroyed structures and buildings. It was earth. I've had multiple dreams where the earth was being destroyed but it's not literally being destroyed. What the dream was telling me was, is that <clears throat> the 3D world is decaying. That was the symbol, that was the symbolic meaning of the dream. The 3D world is decaying. These old ways of thinking are dying out. And it's time to shift your consciousness to a higher consciousness. So the old way is dying out. That is dying out. That is what those dreams and the destruction of the earth really meant. It wasn't about a physical destruction. It's a spiritual thing. It's spiritual. It's not physical. See, everyone is on the, the 2012 bandwagon. And of course, with our illustrious media and all of the fear mongering that they do, the earth has always gone through changes. That's nothing new. There has always been earthquakes. There's always been floods and tsunamis. There's always been those things, unfortunately. Nature is both loving and cruel all at the same time. And there's nothing that we can really do about that. But have a higher understanding of that, that some things are just necessary for growth. Anyway, this is the occult view. I just wanted to come through and just say that and talk about that and Welcome to the fifth dimension. Have a good day.